Help support the companies that support our community. This is Easywood's new faceplate system. So they have these in different sizes. They have a three inch, four and a half, and a six inch. So you just mount this to your blank, just like you would a regular faceplate. But what's different about it, this one is, you actually just put it right onto the chuck and expand the jaws and it holds onto it. After I got it mounted on the chuck, I went ahead and pulled the tail stock up and started shaping the outside of the bowl. This is a piece of myrtle wood I got from Buddy My Mark in, down in Albany. It has a beautiful color on it. So I just used the bowl gouge to shape the whole outside of it and put a recess down in the bottom. After I got it shaped, I went ahead and moved the tool rest around to the end. It's still being held on by that faceplate, and then used the Easywood rougher to make a recess in the bottom of it. On the edge of it, I used a parting tool to come back in and undercut it just a little bit so the dovetail on the jaws would hold onto it a little better and then finish cleaning the rest of it out with the rougher. Once I had that done, I put the sanding pad on my uh, drill and went ahead and sanded the whole thing and then put a coat of uh, walnut oil over the top of it. The grain on this is just beautiful, has a little bit of everything, has some figure on it, um, so it looks like a little bit of almost like a bird's eye and just has some great contrast in between the heart and the sapwood as well. I sanded that all the way up to 600 and then took it out of the chuck and unscrewed the face plate and then flipped it around and used that recess to mount it back on the lathe to start hollowing out the center. To hollow it out, I brought the tailstock back up to support it a little bit. I got a little bit of it cleaned out before I pulled that away. But process here, I just used the bowl gouge, clean out uh, as much as I could, kind of reduce the weight a little bit before I pulled the tail, tail stock away and finished it off. I only do a few bowls a year, so if I did a lot of bowls, I would get a bowl saver. Um, but I just, I don't do enough of them to justify buying one, but if you do a lot of bowls, I would definitely look into them. It, you could get a couple bowls out of this, this one blank. I just kept checking the depth as I was going down and just worked my way right down to just before the bottom. After I had it all cleaned out, I went ahead and ran through a couple of grits with dry sandpaper before applying the 
the walnut oil and finishing it off with 600. There we go. It is just a beautiful piece of myrtle wood. It just has some great color in it. It has a little bit of everything in it too. It's some burl, some fiddle back, and just great, great contrast in between the two woods. The faceplate I was using was the Easywood's new faceplate system. So these mount right onto the chuck and they are dovetailed on the backside there to match the jaws. You just screw it right on. That way you don't have to take your chuck off. And they do have a new spur centers too. They go right into the chuck too. So if you want to do some spindle turning or even actually use one of these to make a tendon on the bottom of a bolt, they go right into the chuck. They have a multi-purpose one like this. And then they have a four, uh, four prong one too. And they both go in the same way. And the little pins in the center. I'll show some pictures here real quick. They actually are retractable. So they go right in there so that you don't have to drill a hole in the blank it just retracts right inside of it just put a little small hole in there and they work fantastic and they got uh what was it three three inch uh four and a half and a six inch so there we go i'll put a link down below in the description all right hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you next week take care